Okay, if Alex Jones has built Hicks, we need to talk about this whole Waco situation. Um, we've seen how they control fake uprisings. Um, that being, like in Israel, you would have... Uh, um, I've seen provocateur websites on known terrorist websites. So we really need to talk about this. Um, just going over this Waco siege... Um, they want to make a big deal about David Koresh was the leader, but I actually found out, um, looking at this David Koresh guy, um, 1938, um, this guy was original leader, and he was a rival, like a Democrat-Republican part party of the, uh, um, Davidian Ranch and not only that this guy um, This guy was ended up in a mental hospital supposedly um, For murder so this guy supposedly murdered someone and then I think this guy David Koresh the guy that they said was the leader at the time. I could be wrong. I'm thinking that. Maybe I'll do a real quick search. Yeah, I guess Koresh was living there and then left and then came back or something. But, uh, what throws me off, I'm just going to make this real quick. I'll leave some links. Um, his mom. Yeah, this was his mother. And she was in a feminist movement in the 70s. Um, and the feminist movement was uh, controlled by the government um, you know just you know Hitler pro propaganda stuff like that so this guy we never ever hear this guy talk about it we have Alex Jones playing controlled opposition um, asking Reno why she killed those people um, but I don't think anyone wants to talk about that at the top of the pyramid um, that these guys were controlled by the government. Um, they supposedly had their own constitution. I'll leave links to that. Um, why I um, say that is these guys are traveling. They're recruiting. They are going to Israel and stuff and uh, recruiting people all throughout the world. Um, if you look at their sign, um, the church was actually um, created, I guess, evidently by this guy. So there was a lot of people involved. Um, so it wasn't just like one crazy guy in a cult. Um, if you look at their logo of their constitution, it kind of has the um, six-sided star, the satanic stuff, um, you know, police, Freemason. Um, what do you call them? Yeah, the Freemason symbolism. You, uh, you know, I'm still looking over all this stuff because um, when I've heard of this case, I've just watched documentaries before. I never heard about this guy. I never heard about this guy. I never actually heard of the movement. But um, you know, they're all over the radio. They're. Um, this is the. Um, I forgot what it stands for, Davidian Seventh Day Advents or something. Yeah, um, same logo, but they're, they're um, you know, in my opinion, a controlled, controlled group by uh, um, CIA operatives. Um, in my opinion, that's what they do. Um, 
and then my theory if I do more research would be that uh and it's just a coincidence this guy died at age 33 um, I don't know when did this guy leave the ranch that's what I want to know two years later 1998 Well, I don't know, but these guys, uh, if you look up this Koresh guy, um, they actually uh, did interviews with CNN and radio stations. Um, like after the fact, after they were, um, after a ceasefire, so they were shooting and stuff before and doing radio stations after. Um, a few people died according to the official story um, one thing that that I would like to point out that these guys um, I think were still being governed over by the US government and it was like a CIA operation um, um, is that uh, they were still using a PO box they were uh, stockpiling illegal weapons supposedly ordering black powder um, UPS delivered stuff to their doors. Um, I heard that Jim Jones might have been controlled by CIA. Um, I'll look into stuff like that. But uh, um, and what else? Waco, Ruby, Ruby Ridge. Um, yeah, I just didn't um, realize that uh, this guy was there and his mom was part of a uh, um, feminist movement. parents yeah so yeah his parents was uh, um, involved in a feminist movement so I think this was 100% controlled by CIA and uh, you know we've seen uh, ISIS working with the uh, Red Cross the White Helmets um, you know they have all kinds of documents on depopulation um, you have the controlled opposition. I'm just saying something stinks to high heaven. Um, it might have been a controlled movement. So uh, um, yeah, just got to hammer that. I'll, I'll keep looking into this stuff. But uh, um, definitely uh, um, something else more to the story than the uh, you know official propaganda that they put out.